Greetings, beautiful souls. It is your sister at heart. My name is Princess Sandra, and I am here again with a, no, let me correct myself, not with a motivational soul, soul healing video. Of course, it's going to be soul healing to find out the truth. I, I am not a doctor. I'm not a psychologist. I'm not a psychiatrist. These are just my observations and my beliefs. And more than anything, this video is spiritually based. It's about spirituality. I'm going to be explaining these things under the spirituality ideologies. You don't have to take what I say and use it to diagnose yourself. Always consult with your professional medical doctor or psychiatrist and psychologist should you wish to get assistance out of the things or sicknesses or illnesses that we're going to be discussing under this video. Do not use this video as a sole decider or something to use to diagnose yourself. Always seek professional help. <music> Each and everything that you go through that takes a toll on your health and that becomes a disease, it means that there is some discomfort that is happening. You need to trace where it's coming from and why it is happening the way it is happening. When people have back pain and leg issues, there are people who suffer severely from back pains and leg issues. And some of them are too young to be going through the problems that they're going through and they don't understand what's happening. But you find what this person to the point like on a way they there are certain weights they can't lift because they are just gonna make more damages there to themselves. Just know Ubuti, you are not living your reality. You are denying yourself the life you promised yourself. There is a certain stage like on a way you manifested and you created a vision board in a spiritual realm. What you know, this is the life that I'm going to live. This is the type of a person I'm going to be. But as you grew older, Izimo, Zembilo, they drew you away from your goal. And you never really found yourself coming back to your original goal and fulfilling it. Not that there's something wrong, but it's better if that was your intention, it's something that you wanted, it's something you manifested. But every time when things that you want and you work so hard, you invest time and money, and then when they have to manifest into reality, they don't show, they don't, you, it becomes difficult for you to obtain those things, to be in those things. They do get to their professions that they did study for or that they enjoy or that they love, but they lose love of it in the middle of doing it. They feel as if they're living other, pe other people's lives. They feel like this is not their lives. You need to check yourself, check the people that you're staying with. Are you okay with those people? Are you happy that they are part of your life? If not, remove those people, create boundaries. Matter of fact, are you happy with the place where you're staying? Example, the place itself has found a particular low vibrational energy that they it has accommodated due to the things that you might have went through and brought closer to yourself without being aware that you are now self-sabotaging because of the openings of certain portals because you're seeking for help and you end up doing more damage than good so those are the things that people tend to go through and it's life but there comes a point in time where you feel Uguti, you are a person who suffers a back pain. You need to be realistic and do what you need to do. There is something that you've always wanted to do, but you're scared to do. Some of them, they are still in their childhood neighborhoods. And you just need to move away from there for your things to start becoming brighter. Abani, they're still living in their mother's or father's homes. Not that there's something wrong per se with your parents, but maybe your adult life and your life path needs you to be further from them so that you can break certain chains you won't be able to break those chains if you are still in their space it could be a number of things you will be able to really think about it and and and, and see it for what it is and and take a decision if you have to move move if you have to change your profession change your profession if you have to to change people that you hang around with change if you want to change your person yourself as a person that's why i say do not get stuck in a particular person because you say i've always been this person you can always rearrange and change yourself to be a version that satisfies you go through things that are going to cause you to get a gain self-development in particular areas that you desire and start behaving in a different manner that will attract the things that you want but it's a sign that you are not where you need to be Sometimes it is possible, Uguti, you are an overgiver. You give people things that you don't give yourself. You give people things that you should be using the same money and the energy to fix your own life so that you can give from a privilege, but you give from lack. So also that will cause you to 
feel as if you are bewitched and it's just you taking bad decisions and not being true to the life that you promised yourself. People who suffer from anemia, I've came across a couple of people who suffer from anemia, which is a disease that eats away their red blood cells. They lack blood, no matter how many pints of blood they can get from the hospital, as time goes, they're gonna keep losing blood within their bodies. And they are told about a certain lifestyle they need to live and, and certain medication they need to take, but still they don't feel, most of them, at least the ones that I've, I've communicated with, they feel as if the medication also is just not enough. It's not helping them the way it should. So they are seeking other alternative solutions to the problem. But if you are going through a situation where you are fighting anemia and there is somebody who was having anemia in the past, if you do your research in your family, it is possible Ugu today is a family member who casted a spell towards particular people who are much likely to be your grandparents or great-grandparents who were supposed to be cursed and even their seeds or their offsprings were supposed to be cursed. And this person who did this was a family member, which makes it even more powerful and more strong and more resilient. So the best way to fight this kind of generational curse is to basically find out the truth about your history so that you can know how to go about to search to, 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 to handle this problem. Find a link of a person who was there before you who also suffered from the same sickness or disease and also make a research about the life that they lived the people that they were close to and people they were not close to and find out some stories there, you are always much likely to, 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 to get a clue of what you are dealing with. And once you find out the truth and the information that you need, it becomes easy to know what to do next. We are not aware which we are dealing with a lot of trauma that is behind our joyfulness that we are not dealing with, that we are not sorting out and it manifesting itself and it is proceeding to our next generations to come. Alopecia is something that I learned as an adult. It is a disease that causes a person to lose their hair. More than anything, you lose your hair from your head. I think the best person that we know, I think, yeah, most of us were introduced to this thing after learning about um, Jada Pinkless Smith, two people who follow um, Hollywood news or who watches the red table or who was watching because I was one of the people who watched the red table before out of curiosity reasons of course so that's where we were introduced to the loss of hair which is called alopecia disease but I strongly do believe Uguti, if you are a black person and you have alopecia there is somebody who's blocking you from gaining some wisdom it could be somebody from the past like I said because diseases they manifest themselves their energies that are manifested by people so the energy is always going to look for the next person to utilize, to keep on finding a home, to keep on being in existence because it cannot be destroyed. It can only be transferred. So it's possible, Luguti, there, are people, there, are, there were people who were not granted the ability to download the downloads from the sun itself so that they can utilize the information from our celestial ancestors to make use in this physical plane. There is a chance to go to there was an ancestor of yours that you share a blood with who was very greedy, who wanted to either sell off their own people or who wanted to use the information for greed reasons or for hurting other people reasons. It could be anything negative. So as a result, the universe has to respond because we live in the, in the world where what goes around comes around, what goes up must come down. You know, so it's, it's the nature of our life. Each and everything that you produce, it will find you again. So in this case, it's possible it will come to you as a grandchild or as a child or as a great, great grandchild and you find that you're losing your hair because there was someone in the past who didn't respect the information that they were receiving. Instead, they wanted to use it for their own selfish needs. The reason why I'm saying this is because we know by now Uguti as black melanated, melanated beings or abandu because not all melanated people are the abandus so tenangobasa abandu we have this coily hair which is also called nine ether hair nine ether is a type of a gas that is a combination of all existing gases it is only found from our own hair as well as from the space or the sky
that those are the two places where you find nine ether. The combination of gases that we use in this world, they all come together and form ether and they sit there. Other people, they do believe it, it, these are the energies that form our firmament, which is pro the protector of us in this earth, which is like forms like a sort of a glass that is like differentiating between the inside world and the outside universe. So it depends Wuti, what you have heard, what you have learned, what you believe. But this is what I would, you know, explain this disease as Wuti. It's like somebody who was expelled. We learn even from the other religious books of which I never read, but I hear that they are fallen angels or they were angels who were chased away because they might have broken some certain rules of being angels. But you might be chased away, but you still possess the angel uh, powers. So I do believe Guti, it's still the same even here. It's, it's like there was somebody who was expelled, who was somebody who had a lot of information because they were able to download using their nine ether hair. Our nine ether, by the way, it's like Ama Ariel. Do you remember the days when we had Ama Ariel in TV TVH to pick up the signal? That's what the black person's hair does to you when you are outside on the sun. As the sun rays hit on your hair, you connect to these into the cordalis. So what I'm trying to say is it's possible Luguti, when you go through alopecia, you are like somebody who was expelled from having that privilege because you misuse it in the past. And as a result, your offsprings are going to have to lose hair so that they never gain the wisdom so they don't misuse it as a form of protecting it. There are many ways uh, we can interpret Ama diseases, guys. Just know that when you are not at ease emotionally for way too long, you are definitely manifesting sickness within your body. It's going to become something that is livable, that is living, that is a living entity. I hope that this video did find you in good spirit. Until we meet again, love and light.